Hi, River Cruise Lady Linda here, and I want to share with you this fantastic new video that Ama Waterways has done about with one of their Rhine itineraries featuring one of their brand new ships. It just gives you some uh, gr uh, some great shots in behind the scenes with people on their tours, uh, the cabins, life on board. Just gives you a really good insight on what river cruising is all about. Hope you enjoy. Welcome to Ama Waterways Enchanting Rhine Cruise aboard the all new Ama Christina. Our journey begins in Amsterdam, and we will continue on a seven-night journey through Germany, France, and concluding in Basel, Switzerland. Family-owned Ama Waterways continues to distinguish itself from all other river cruises, having consistently received top awards throughout its fleet on design, service, and culinary expertise. Rudy Schreiner has designed his ships with every aspect of his guests in mind, including developing a low draft, ensuring the Alma Waterways river ships may sail into a variety of river conditions their competitors may not be able to. Cabins provide for both French and full step-out balconies, giving cruisers the option to enjoy scenery from the comfort of their stateroom, or being outside taking in the sun, sights, and sound of each river experience. Guests will find this provides maximum comfort and choice, no matter what time of day, night, season, or itinerary they choose. There are multiple outdoor public decks. The impressive sun deck with walking track, deck chairs, umbrellas, chess, heated pool with swim-up bar, and unobstructed views in every direction. The lower expansive sun deck rests in front of the bridge, giving the best forward-facing views of the cruise, the perfect place to enjoy a glass of wine with friends. One deck down is the covered alfresco terrace, right on the bow, in front of the main lounge and bar. And don't forget while cruising, the covered deck and entrance is open on either side of the main reception, making it easy to step outside at a moment's notice for that perfect picture. Just inside is the main lounge with bar, brilliantly designed with ceiling to floor windows, allowing guests a 180 degree view of the Rhine. There's more than enough seating in the lounge for all the guests, whether they are a large group of friends and family, or intimate group of newfound friends. The bar is open all day with full service in the lounge. A cozy library and game room offers two simulated glass fireplaces and a quiet indoor space to read a book or play your favorite board game. The Ama Cristina's piano player performs at select times during the day, as well as before and after dinner. Guests board the Ama Cristina in the late afternoon. A welcome reception is held by the officers and cruise manager. The next day provides for the morning exploration of Amsterdam by a private canal cruise. Leisurely cruising guests can admire the 16th century canal homes. As with all Ama Waterways tours, only the best guides are selected from each port to educate and enlighten guests. These narrow brick homes were built on valuable reclaimed land centuries ago when Amsterdam was the wealthiest merchant port in Europe. Trading with faraway lands such as Africa, India, and Indonesia. The homes are built narrow and tall, each with a special beam and pulley to bring wares and furniture to every floor. Today we find them providing space for traditional residences, office and museums, street side cafes and bakeries, Amsterdam is the perfect city to explore on foot. Houseboats line the canals. Small centuries-old bridges connect neighborhoods throughout the city. Residents and visitors make use of bikes for their daily business and sightseeing. Each part of town has its own flavor, from quiet residential streets to Amsterdam's very own Chinatown, to the floating market where Holland's famous tulip bulbs can be purchased in many different forms, from the actual bulb ready to be planted to creative wooden tulips. Of special interest is the Anne Frank House, Van Gogh Museum, and National Maritime Museum. The tour of Amsterdam takes guests out of the city where they are introduced to a fully functioning and privately owned windmill on the banks of the Amstel River. Ama Waterway's luxurious motor coaches reunite her guests with the Ama Christina where they reboard the ship just before lunch. Afternoon tea is served and guests unwind enjoying a cruise through the Dutch countryside. Each evening guests enjoy one of two dining options. The main dining room is essentially open seating, 
Guests may choose to sit at a private table or impromptu seating with newfound friends at a larger table. There are two wine rooms that provide private seating in a more intimate and enclosed setting, easily reserved upon request. Each evening, a new menu is presented in the main dining room. Ama Waterways belongs to the prestigious Shenda Rotosaur. Membership is by invitation only, extended to those possessing world-class culinary skills. The second dining option aboard the Ama Cristina is the chef's table, a complimentary reservation-only dining experience at the back of the ship. This is a special tasting menu, matched with select wines, and served to a small group. The fully functional kitchen at the back of the ship is in full view of guests. Panoramic views give guests a special dining experience. Space permitting, guests may dine more than once at the chef's table every sailing. The menu at the chef's table will remain the same throughout the cruise. During lunch and dinner, beer and wine is complimentary, including the light lunch served in the main lounge and bar, the cuisine of which reflects the region the ship is sailing through that day. On select evenings, local entertainers come aboard giving a flavor of local culture. The following day, the Ama Christina makes port in Cologne, Germany. Guests can explore on their own, choose from a slow-paced or more active walking tour, or choose to go on an exciting included bike ride out of the city along the banks of the Rhine, stopping for a view of Cologne and the Hohenzollern Bridge. The Ama Christina has bikes on board for use in most all ports, either with a guide or for enjoyment on your own. Cologne is Germany's fourth largest city. The Romans settled here in 50 BC. During World War II, the Allies took special care to protect the city's greatest historic icon, the Cologne Cathedral. Entering this magnificent structure is awe-inspiring in its size and craftsmanship. Construction started in 1248. Its grandeur was meant to pay reverence and house the relics of the three kings or magi. Its height was not exceeded in Europe until the Eiffel Tower was erected. Knowledgeable Ama Waterways guides will escort guests into the cathedral and give them a detailed explanation to its history, engineering, and restoration. Noted Italian perfume maker Giovanni Ferrin created a perfume in 1709 while living in the city. He named it Au du Cologne in honor of the city, and better known by its brand 4711, originating the name for men's perfume. After a leisurely afternoon of sailing up the Rhine, the Ama Cristina docks in Clablenz, giving guests the opportunity to enjoy an included tour of town, perhaps choosing to eat a late night dinner at a local tavern. Koblenz marks the confluence of the Mosella and Rhine. Where at Land's End stands a dramatic statue of Kaiser Wilhelm I, who once resided in the small city. Back aboard the Ama Christina, local entertainer Matt Williams performs pop favorites from around the world. Breakfast aboard the Ama Christina begins with the early riser, a light serving of continental breakfast in the lounge, served an hour before a full breakfast in the dining room. For those guests who want to soak in as many sights as possible on the Rhine or are still adjusting to the time difference from home. Breakfast on the Ama Christina consists of a full buffet with an impressive selection of cheeses, fruit, regionally smoked fish, traditional breakfast meats and eggs. Omelets are made to order and there's always a daily special. There is a wide selection of European breads of all types and flavors, as well as selections from the menu. The Rhine is the most important waterway in Europe, a trading route stretching from Switzerland to the North Sea, running over 820 miles with multiple locks bordering the Netherlands, France, Germany, Austria, Liechtenstein, and Switzerland. Castles abound on the shores of the Rhine. During the 12th century, there was an explosion of castles constructed by local noblemen. These lords collected a toll for passing merchants on land and water. The Rhine Gorge has the largest concentration, over 30 castles. Towering bluffs, small vineyards, and colorful villages surround these centuries-old castles. A morning of cruising the Rhine between Koblenz and Bingen will give you outstanding views of these historic and unique buildings, each with its own period architecture and flair. 
Your onboard cruise manager will take every opportunity while in the Rhine Gorge and the entire journey to give insightful narration filled with histories, allegories, and poignant facts about the passing geography, towns, and castles. The Ama Christina will dock midday at the Port of Rudesheim. This traditional town is waiting to be explored. Narrow cobbled stone streets with boutique shops, taverns, and restaurants. Known for its wine production and especially Rieslings. Guests may choose from a number of included tours, such as sampling the region's famous Riesling wine while in the middle of a beautiful vineyard. The gondola tour brings visitors soaring above the town and vineyards for spectacular views of the Rhine. The ride ends at the base of the dramatic Naderwalden Kamal, a monument to commemorate the unification of Germany. The statue was completed in 1883. Back in town of special interest is Siegfried's Mechanical Music Cabinet Museum. Siegfried Wendel collected and restored automated musical players from simple gramophones to over 350 types of self-playing instruments, organs, and musical cabinets. This enchanting experience is also included on your cruise. Finally, there is the coffee tasting tour. Rudesheimer coffee with a splash of Osbach brandy is a favorite local in town the perfect drink to cap a day of exploration. Throughout your entire journey, the Ama Christina Cruise Manager will provide onboard presentations and nightly updates about the following day's activities. These presentations will also give you valuable insight into the region, culture, history, and geography, bringing your journey to life, and assist in choosing each day's included tours. After a morning of cruising, the Ama Christina will tie up in Mannheim, Germany, Several included tours exist for exploring the region. A tour of medieval Speyer, one of Germany's oldest cities. Central to the town is its cathedral with the tombs of eight Holy Roman Emperors and German kings. Another popular option is Heidelberg, a romantic city dominated by the ruins of its castle, overlooking one of the longest shopping streets in all of Europe, lined with many taverns and shops. Vetter is a world-famous brewery and tavern with some of the richest and highly fermented beer in the world. Guests may take an included guided walk, hike, or explore on their own. The following day includes the all-day exploration of Strasbourg, France. Strasbourg city center Grand Isle or Grand Island was classified as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1988, the first time an entire city center received the honor. At the historic city center is the Cathedral of Notre Dame de Strasbourg. Stroll the narrow cobblestone streets and admire the original medieval and colorful architecture. Small riverboats provide for tours around the city center. Al Fresco cafes are around every corner featuring Alsace cuisine, dry Rieslings and traditional baked items and foie gras. Local bakers offer guests samples of freshly made macarons. For active guests, a bike tour is available, as well as a two-hour brisk, active walk. Both the walk and bike tour cover similar points of interest. For guests who would like a higher-paced tour of the city, they may walk with an expert guide from the Angerie Park, passing by fountains and swan-filled ponds. A 17th-century half-timbered home surrounded by ornate gardens, past the Council of Europe, through rural neighborhoods, and Place de la Republique, one of the main squares in Strasbourg concluding in the Grand Dealer city center. Guests are given plenty of free time to explore Strasbourg with on the waterway shuttles departing from nearby the city center all day long. Back on board the Ama Christina, a traditional French cabaret singer performs in the style of Edith Piaf, giving a riveting performance to guests. Bringing to a close a memorable day in the romantic city of Strasbourg. The Ama Christina features a centrally located reception with elevator and staff on hand 24 hours a day. An elevator brings guests to the main violin deck, where they will find the reception, gift shop, bar, and lounge all on the same floor. The elevator also proceeds to the cello deck, where they will find the main dining room and one floor down to the piano deck. The piano deck is where guests will find a small fitness room with high-tech resistance machine, cycles, and treadmill. Across the hall is a full-functioning salon with beautician and massage room. The elevator, however, does not proceed to the sun deck. 
A coffee station is available 24 hours a day, and a small gift shop provides for fun mementos and some essential toiletries just behind the main reception. The final full day of the cruise aboard the Yama Christina brings guests to Breisach, Germany. Guests will have the option of a bike tour of Breisach, an included walking tour of Breisach and Freiburg, Germany. Freiburg, Germany is surrounded by the Black Forest and was founded in the 12th century. The old town is filled with historic monuments, museums, theaters, and cozy taverns. The second optional tour is Rickvere, France, an enchanting village actually used by Walt Disney as the model town in Beauty and the Beast. As if you are truly in a storybook setting, the actual town is even more colorful and charming than you could imagine. The town is surrounded by vineyards. Small cobbled stoned alleys lead to flower-laden townhouses. Markets and vendors feature the region's wines and gourmet selections. Every turn will reveal another surreal setting in the small town of Rickvere, France. The Anna Christina's final port of call is Basel, Switzerland, where guests will disembark the next morning. Ama Waterways is proud to be family owned and operated. Feature their own skillfully designed river ships, which have the highest staff to guest ratio. Each Ama Waterways departure is staffed with experienced crew, many of which have been with the company for many years. Bicycles are available to any guests upon request in each port. Each port includes at least one included tour, if not several, for each guest to choose from. In each port, Ama Waterways uses the most educated and qualified guides. While on walking tours and other outings, Ama Waterways uses the Quiet Box guide system, allowing for each guest to tune their receiver and earpiece to their personal guide they are with that day. Wine and beer are complimentary during lunch and dinner. And new in 2018 will be the Sip and Sail Cocktail Hour. Wi-Fi, internet, and the ship's own entertainment system is included in each stateroom along with a sophisticated information system. Join the all-new Ama Waterways Ama Christina as she explores the Rhine River from Amsterdam, Netherlands to Basel, Switzerland. Well, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed your trip down the Rhine River. And if I can help you out with this, uh, something to do with this river cruise or any other river cruise, please feel free to give me a call. Uh, you can find my number on my website, which is www.therivercruiselady.com, or feel free to drop me a line, an email to lynda at therivercruiselady.com. Thanks again, and may today be your day to travel.